Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're talking about accepting your assignment. Um, but first, let's jump into this. So, you were put on this earth to make a contribution, right? Um, you're not put on this earth to consume and die. We know this, or at least you should know this by now, right? You're not supposed to take up space, eat food, breathe and die. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make a contribution. Well, many podcasts, books, and other sorts of information provides you on how to get the get the best out of life, right? Um, what the best things are to do, right? To live your life to the fullest. Um, but none of them ever really hit home, do they? Yeah, me, uh, me either. Uh, I've read so many books. I've got countless books on my bookshelf of just how to live life like yeah i always felt a call to something more something bigger right something that actually you know mattered to me something to finally take down that road work ahead sign um now i've never felt more drawn to life because of this within the last eight months so let's jump into it now if you came across this video i'm glad you're here first off um it means you're pursuing the right things means you're on the right path um, if you're liking it, the vid so far, liking the channel, drop a like, let me know how I'm doing. Um, it really lets me know where to go from here. Now that also means you're looking to accept your assignment, but what could be your assignment? What, uh, what does that mean to you? Right? Where is it? Um, how do I find it? These are probably all questions you're asking yourself. Well, the answer is, uh, the answer is pretty difficult because every single person is different every single person is drawn to something else in their life. Uh, we'll come back to these later in the video, so make sure you stick around, okay? Um, because it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense if every person had or was called to the same purpose. Does that make sense? It wouldn't, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for God to do that to us, right? For all of us to have the same, the same exact thing and we all go after the same thing. That doesn't make sense. But I can tell you one common denominator out of every single person that has found their purpose and pursued it and what it is. I can tell you what almost every little thing that's under that's underneath everything, I can tell you what it is. It's to serve, to serve. Now, before we jump into anything else, what does that mean to you? When you hear to serve, so when you hear that, what is going off inside your head? Is it like, is it alarms? Is it, uh, is it a click? Is it like a sense of fulfillment? What's going on? Write it down in the comments or write it down on a piece of paper for future reference, okay? So how does everybody have the same underlying purpose to serve? Well, let's use some examples. Um, first, let's do, uh, let's do Elon Musk. Now, you're th Elon Musk, how does, he, how does he serve? What does he, what could he possibly do to serve? So he's serving mankind. Um, the amount of progress we've made as a species because of him being here, because of his knowledge, the stuff that he can provide for us. Yes, he's weird. Yes, he has this weird name for his kid. <laughs> like, But he's a genius that has provided so much to technology for us to evolve as a species. He is serving us his knowledge. Now let's use uh, let's do some YouTubers, for example, Mr. Beast. So Mr. Beast make some incredible videos. We all know this, the, he, the amount of time and money and everything he's put into his videos are incredible. And also the underlying stuff is incredible, like how he's actually helping people. He's, I mean, yeah, he's got some crazy challenges, but he's got some really cool videos, like actually helping people. So what does he serve? He serves entertainment for us. Entertainment to get out of this thing, to get out of the noggin, because everybody knows when you get stuck in there for too long, you go a little nuts. Right. It's just kind of how it goes. Everybody's been there. Everybody knows what we're talking about here. So it helps us escape this for a little bit of time to serve us, to make us feel better, to feel that gratification for others in some way. Now on the YouTube topic, let's use me for example, right now I'm not, yes, I'm providing entertainment and yes, I'm serving in that way. Uh, but for me and my purpose, my purpose is to help, help you to help anyone that needs it, whether that be guiding them in a way to help fulfill them and their journey. That is what I am going to accomplish while I'm here. And that is why I'm going to start one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's going to be sooner that rather than later, I'm going to start doing this to help as many people as I can when it resonates with the people that want to grow and want to become the people they need to. So 
that's why I that's why I'm doing this. Okay. Now let's do something fun. Let's do movie stars, actors, right? Again, how could they possibly serve us? An actor? What the heck are they doing for me? Same thing as kind of YouTubers. You know, uh, it's kind of same thing as Mr. Beast. Um, to help to provide us escapism for like two hours at a time. Because I bet you money when you're in a movie, you're not thinking about what's going on in the outside world. You're not thinking about all the problems you have at home or what's going on in your life if you just lost your job. You're not thinking about that. What you're thinking about is you're having fun in the movie or you're scared, whatever kind of movie it is, right? But you're not thinking about the outside world. So they're providing and serving escapism for you. Now, I can't tell you the exact answer. Um, the reason being is that I don't, I don't know you. Um, and even if I did know you, uh, I wouldn't tell you exactly what it would be because I don't know what you were called to. Everybody will be called to something in their life. Everybody. And it will happen. If it hasn't, it's going to. Now, what do you do until then? You know, when, what do I do until I'm called? Or what do I do if I'm trying to figure out how to find my purpose, to find what I need to serve, to find what I want to chase, to go after, right? What do I do? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Don't just exist. Now, there's a difference between existing and resting. Existing is not moving forward. Existing is just nothing. It's just nothing. There's nothing. That's, that's existing, right? That is existing. You're just, you're not doing anything. But resting is you're, you're allowed to take a break because we all know this by now. We should. Personal growth is hard. It is hard on this and the spiritual. It is very hard. It is not an easy thing to do. You're allowed to rest. But eventually you're going to get back up on the train and you're going to keep moving forward. That is the difference. Now, am I saying you did? Is it wrong to exist? Absolutely not. If that's what you want to do with your life, go ahead and do that. But if you came across this video, I know that's not what you want. So try different things. You don't know what you're going to be called to. You have no idea. Travel. Go experience different things. Do different jobs. Go do different stuff. Don't do the same thing every single day expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity, right? Go try some shit. Whatever it is, try some shit. Do some stuff you're not used to. If you're scared to do it, do it anyway. Do it scared. Try some stuff because, again, you will be called. You, I don't know what it's going to be. I didn't know what mine was until eight months ago. I had no idea. You don't know what you're going to be called to, but you will be called. It is, it, it, it will happen. It is your job to either pick up the phone or let it ring and go to voicemail. And then you don't read the voicemail. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Today was about accepting your assignment. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this one because um, it definitely resonates with me, but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below, drop a comment, subscribe if you'd like to, if you'd like to see more of these, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.